Today, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install custom content for your Sims 4 game. The first step is for wanting to download any type of custom content, you want to go right here to your file explorer and we're going to open it up. And now we need to find our Sims 4 game file. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and press documents and then we're going to go ahead and find electronic arts. It's right here. So we're going to go ahead and open it in electronic arts. Here is the Sims 4 game file. Once you find your Sims 4 game file, we're going to go ahead and open it up and then we're going to go ahead and open open up our mods folder if you have a mods folder if this is your first time downloading mods or any type of custom content we're going to go ahead and create a mods folder to do that all you have to do is right click anywhere here new and click folder and we're just going to label this folder mods m o d s once we have a mods folder we're going to go ahead and open it up if this is your first time ever installing mods or custom content your mods folder will be empty i'm currently running mods in my game so mine is filled with files and then the next step is we're going to go ahead and create a file for our custom content just so our custom content can be all in one place and it'll be easy to access in the future so to create a custom content folder you just right click anywhere here click new click folder and then i'm going to go ahead and label it cc which is short for custom content and then once you have a custom content slash cc folder we can go ahead and close this up and start shopping for cc the next step is you're going to go ahead and find a safe cc website or page that you like i went ahead and picked the sims trouble patreon on and i'm going to be downloading hairstyles from them so i'm just going to scroll until i find a hairstyle that i like i'm going to go ahead and pick this one and then to download any type of cc you normally want to scroll and find something that says attachment and download and normally there's a link underneath it or next to it that is labeled the cc name so you're going to go ahead and click it and then as you see it downloaded to our recently downloads right here and you will just keep repeating this process until you download all the cc that you want and then once you finish downloading all the cc that you want for your game what we're going to go ahead and do is go to our recently downloads right here and we're going to click it and then what i like to do is i like to drag and drop it onto my desktop i'm going to go ahead and drop the cc file onto my desktop and then now we're going to open up our file explorer and now we're going to find our sims 4 file so we're going to go to documents we're going to go to electronic art we're going to go to the sims 4 and then we're going to go to our mods folder that we created earlier and then we're going to go to our cc file that we also created earlier and then once we open up our cc file for now it's time for us to extract our custom content if you have windows 11 you could just go ahead and right click and press extract all but if you do not i'm gonna go ahead and leave a zip file extractor extension in the description so we're gonna right click the zip file press extract all we're gonna click browse then we're gonna click documents then we're gonna click electronic arts then we're gonna click the sims 4 and then we're gonna click our mods folder and then we're gonna click our cc file then we're gonna go ahead and press select folder and then extract as you see it extracted all the custom content that I downloaded from my custom content zip file. Sometimes your custom content won't come in a zip file. Sometimes it will come looking like this. And if it comes looking like this, you could just go ahead and drag and drop it into your custom content folder. And as you see, it got added. Once you see that you have all the files that you downloaded for your custom content, you could go ahead and delete your zip file. Or if you just drag and drop it from your desktop, then you're good. And then you can go ahead and close your file explorer. When we load up our game we're gonna go ahead and press these three dots right here and then we're gonna go to game options and then we're gonna go to other and you want to make sure you have enabled custom content and mods check marked you're gonna get this pop-up right here that says this game needs to be restarted for this change to take effect and then i'm also gonna go ahead and check mark script mods aloud as well this is normally for in-game mods just in case you downloaded any custom content for in-game you want to go ahead and check mark it and then you get this pop-up right here saying script mods may cause your game to crash or result in other unexpected behavior use at your own risk you will need to restart the game for the setting change to take effect if you don't agree go ahead and press x and you can cancel it but if you do go ahead and press the check mark and press ok and then you're going to press apply changes and then you're going to press close and then we are going to have to relaunch our game so we're going to have to press exit game and relaunch and then as you see when we relaunch the game we get this mods pop up right here and it shows everything that we have underneath custom content and everything we have underneath script mods once you see that you have have what you downloaded underneath custom content and or script mods then go ahead and press the check mark if you downloaded custom content hair clothing makeup eyelashes we can go ahead and start a new game to test them out if you want to put them on a already existing
existing sim, we can go ahead and resume our game and I'll show you how to do that in game. To test out your custom content in game on an already existing sim, what you're going to go ahead and do is press Control shift c and you get this cheats pop up right here and you're going to type in testing cheats space true and then you're going to press enter and as you see cheats are now enabled so we're going to go ahead and type in cast dot full edit mode so we can go ahead and edit this sim in cast and now we can close this up we're going to go ahead and press Control shift c to close our cheats menu and then to open up our cast menu you're going to press shift and then you're going to click on our sim that you want to modify in cast and you're going to click the modify in cast button right here so the custom content that i downloaded is in hair so i'm going to go ahead and click her hair but if you download clothing you could just click on her clothing or her shoes or if you download makeup or eyelashes you can click her face but i'm going to go ahead and click her hair and then i'm going to scroll till i find my custom content that i downloaded and then as you see the custom content that i downloaded is right here if this video has helped you out please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time